Google Earth 4.3 just became available, so this is a quick first look at some of the new features. We're, we'll start by looking at the new lighting effects, the new atmospheric and uh, real-time day and night lighting. So when you first load up Google Earth 4.3, you'll see the new atmospheric lighting, and I've also got the clouds turned on here. Um, you can turn on the day-night mode in the button at the upper middle, and now you'll see the current position of the sun. You can drag the time slider to make the sun go forward or backwards in time so you can see how the sun progresses along the earth as the earth rotates. Um, now if you zoom in while the clouds are turned on and get into the atmosphere you can see the effects of the lighting against clouds and the sky. So if we now drag the time slider you can watch the sun backtracking to sunrise and see how the light is playing against the atmosphere and the clouds which are being silhouetted and against the 3D terrain you can see the new uh, early morning light on the terrain. Um, you can also move around and go over to the afternoon and to the sunset and see the effects there. So I think we're going to see a lot of cool screenshots out of these new lighting effects. Let's move on to the 3D buildings. Um, Google has new improved 3D buildings uh, first of all they've improved the performance when they load so I'm flying here first to Baltimore which I've not previously loaded and we're going to uh, zoom down into it and turn on the 3D buildings layer and if you watch really quick you first see simplistic versions of the buildings appear almost instantly and then as we're zooming around higher res um, textures are being loaded. Um, now since I'm actually recording a video here on the same machine as it's trying to load up all this it's probably a little bit slower than it normally would be without making a video but um, we're flying around and looking at all these buildings in Baltimore which apparently are automatically generated somehow but Google isn't telling us how um, I'm flying around in the city by the way using the 3D connection space navigator which is a really great way for flying around it's a it's a 3D mouse um, but Google Earth 4.3 has new navigation gadgets in the upper right, so let's try those. The first one up in the upper right lets you look around as if you're looking down and up and around by just spinning, moving your mouse around in circles. And uh, the second one is a pan gadget which moves you around left, right, and forward just like you normally would pan around. Um, so it gets you to a new position and then you can look around from a new position. And the bottom gadget is your zoom gadget which lets you uh, move along forward or backwards or up and down. As you get close to the earth it automatically tilts to horizontal. So these nav gadgets really help you get a new feel for looking around. Alright, the next highly anticipated feature is the street view uh, images that we know from Google Maps, well they're now in Google Earth. If you look in the lower left there's a layer called Street View, turn it on and as you zoom in over the United States, which is the only place that has Street View so far, you'll see gold I camera icons appear. Now I'm zooming into Raleigh, North Carolina which has Street View but also has 3D buildings and I'll, I'll show you why I'm doing that in just a second. Um, so we'll zoom in and go down the street and you can see the cameras as camera icons as you get closer more and more of them appear but as you get down really close you'll actually see the street view images as and in the case of here they're spherical panoramas and if you click on one of these you'll get a place mark icon that appears showing you that street map but then you click on it and it lets you jump into the picture and now you're in the photo viewer mode of Google Earth you see the little um, representation of the image up in the upper right and you can click the white right tangle and drag it around to change your view around. And you can also zoom in and out with the mouse uh, scroll bar, scroll wheel or with the zoom thing in the upper right. The other thing you can do is if you click on the transparency slider you can turn off the street view image and see the underlying 3D imagery. So you can see how closely the photo, the street view images match the 3D images underneath. Um, this is a really cool thing that I really like that you can um, compare the 3D buildings against the street view imagery. Now the other thing you can do is if you look you can see the little gold camera icons from within the photo view and if you double click on those it flies you to that 
next street view. So this is the way you can traverse down the street and see other street view images. So here I'm moving closer to this uh, street intersection and now you can see I'm at the street intersection and I can compare once again turn the transparency down and see the 3D buildings underneath. You can exit this mode in the upper right and there again you see the spherical images or the icons in the distance. And now I can move down the street and double click on another street view icon and see what it looks like down there and fly into it. So now you have another perspective. So you can move all around and check out the street views. So anyway, this is a uh, quick first look at all these new features in Google Earth 4.3 and I will be writing more about the new features uh, over the coming days. Um, just keep reading at Google Earth blog um, to uh, see other interesting new things. Thanks for joining us.